the Sony ECM 44B condenser microphone. This is supposed to be a higher end microphone than other microphones. And it's funny, when I started researching microphones, I mean, I was blown away at the cost. I mean, you can literally spend $2,000 on a microphone. It's just nuts. I'm currently recording with the uh, Tascam DR40 and a Movo microphone. Now, this microphone I picked up at Amazon years ago. I think it was 40 bucks. It's a cheapy, cheapy microphone, and that's what I'm recording on right now. Now, I'm curious of what the Sony ECM-44B is going to sound like. And is it going to make me sound any better than this $40 mic? Or is it going to sound the same? And uh, I have a couple other things coming in. I have a couple other Sony microphones coming in later this week. And I'm going to do reviews on those microphones too. I had this curiosity that what if I had a microphone that was old? 10 years old, 20 years old. Would it record sound just as good? I have some... Um, Sony ECM microphones, two of them coming in of two different versions from different years and I'm, I'm going to compare them to the ECM 44B. And my objective for doing this, okay, is because I'm wondering, do you need to buy a $150 microphone? Can you buy this Movo that's 40 bucks, Or can you buy a microphone that was made 10 or 20 years ago and does it sound just as good for YouTube? I'm sure it doesn't sound as good for movies, but maybe for YouTube it does. So let me get this all plugged in, and we'll then give this ECM44B a shot. All right, now we've got the Sony ECM44B connected to me here. And to be honest with you, the cord on this is a lot thinner and I'm rubbing it, not sure if you can hear it or not. Then the uh, Movo LV8D, this one here. This cord feels thicker. Now, the attachment that attaches to your shirt, the clip and everything it came, came with was really nice, really easy to clip compared to the Movo. The Movo wasn't that great. I've had to, on the Tascam DR40, I've had to actually raise my levels to bring it up as if the microphone is much lower in gain compared to the Movo. The Movo I had to turn way down. Maybe it had more no noise, I'm not sure. So this is the E7M-44B, runs for about 150 bucks. Um, this is brand spanking new. I picked it up. If you want to pick one up, I'll have a link in the bottom. Kick you off to Amazon, go get her. And uh, I'm really hoping it does sound better than the Movo on my Tascam 40D. Now, like I said, I've got two other Sony ECM microphones coming in. Probably be here. One's going to be here on, on Monday, another one a few days after that. And they're older. I mean, they may, they, I couldn't even find information on the one. I couldn't even find a manual online when I bought these. I'm really curious on how they're going to compare to this new one compared to the older ones were. Like this new one had a plastic cover and you snapped on the plastic foam. Um, the older ones I'm picking up, they're all metal. They're metal microphones and they have a metal windscreen that goes on. So that should be quite interesting. But this is my first test run out of the box for the Sony ECM44B microphone and we'll see how that sounds compared to what the uh, Movo was and to see if the quality of my sound is a lot better, if I got spiking. Let me know which one do you think sounds better or do I need to just send this back and keep using my Movo? <laughs> anyway guys, I'll catch you on the next one.